Before we begin the video, I would just like to give a huge shout out to Carlo Mendoza and the whole Bullet Punk Network team for making it possible for me to review this figure today. I really appreciate the help and I'm always going to be a fan of you guys because you guys are awesome. Thank you. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is actually my birthday. So we're doing a birthday toy review and this is the first video out of the two videos that I'm going to post today. And for number one, we are reviewing that. That is the Tech 63 112 scale deluxe edition. So that is a Tech 63 articulated figure that's scaled down to a 112 scale and it comes with the Onimaru bike. This one. So my setup is a bit different because the box is really huge. As you can see, doesn't fit the frame. So let's just put it sideways like this. So this is just the shipper's box, but there are a few details here. Um, you have the Devil Toy or Devil Toys logo here, Quick's logo. Then on the side, you have the 112 uh, Tech 63 plus Onimaru set. Then the same details on the back, same details on the side. Now, let's go ahead and open this. I'm not sure how we are gonna do that because the box is huge, but let's try. go all right so you can see onimaru here this is uh, tech 63 bike this is tech 63 later on we're gonna review that so this is the front of the box the top the bottom the side Other side and the back. Okay. Now let's go ahead and open this thing. I think it's better. Let me turn on my ring light. Okay. So this is Tech 63 or the 112 scale Tech 63. Just to get an accurate uh, height measurement. Let's get our ruler here. And he stands at approxi approximately around 6.5 inches. Which is good. Uh, it means he's not small for the 112 scale. He has a the bullet punk jacket. Uh, these are made of real cloth. His pants and his jacket. When you open this zipper down there. He is donning the bullet punk shirt underneath, the white bullet punk shirt, under, uh, shirt underneath. So this is modeled after the 112, uh, sorry, 16th scale um, Tech 63. That's why it's it's hot toys like or 3A like because 3A has uh, figures like this with real cloth in 112 scale as well. Right. Let's give it a little spin first so you can see everything. So he has faded pants. Of course, the, uh, of course the superstar 
Uh, Adidas Superstar Shoes. Number 63, Country Code of the Philippines. Filipina Street Plan. There. So in terms of articulation, so he can look down this much. He can look up this much. So he has double ball, uh, double ball peg, ball joint peg on his neck. Can you see? Not sure if you guys can see it there and then for his arm you can move it sideways this much I'm not sure if the cloth is just hindering the movement I think it is but I think you can adjust it and then you can move it up Spin it around. Of course, you wouldn't want to spin it because he is wearing cloth. But you get the gist. So, for his elbow, I think this is single jointed elbow. Or, oh no, it's double jointed. So, there are two connections here. That's why he can bend his elbow this much. And then he has. It looks to be a ball peg as well for his wrist. So you can spin it or twist it around and then you can bend it sideways. For his torso, I think he has two, um, two points of articulation here. One on the lower part of the chest and then one on the hip part. So he can bow down this much Wait, the, the jacket is hindering the there bow, bow down that much and then look up or bend his body that much for his waist I think you can, yeah, you can swivel the waist. I think you can even twist it around. Let's just be careful not to break it. There, so you can twist it around. For the leg, sideways, you can go as much. He's wearing a cloth pant, so you shouldn't go more than that because you're gonna rip it off. And then forward. I think it's just this much forward yeah it's not a pull down uh, type of articulation so you can forward his leg this much and then backwards not so much just that. for the knee are we gonna get a double Jointed knee, yes we are. So double jointed knee can go this much. Sit focus. There. And then for the foot, it's also ball peg, so it can serve as an ankle rocker. So if you want to give him a wider stance, you can balance him out. Tiptoe this much, and then that much so he has an extra pair of shoes here he has an extra pair of hands oops he has a switchblade sword he has a pocket gun 
he has Search K9 or SRCH K9. And if you got the deluxe edition, you will get a Kid Midas Switchblade, a Kid Midas Pocket Gun, a Kid Midas Search K9 or SRCH K9, which is articulated as well. And lastly, if you got the deluxe edition or the deluxe set, you are gonna get the Onimaru motorcycle or bike. Let's give it a little spin so it has turning front wheel. The back turns as well, but I'm not sure if it's just mine, but mine is not that smooth, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna play with it. So let's just look at some of the awesome details. By the way, this moves. So it's good for posing. I think this is the stand. So you can make the bike stand on its own. Let's try it out. There you go. I like the details here on the exhaust. So it has a blue, purple, yellow uh, highlight, uh, which is the color of when your when metal is heating up or heated up. And if you can see it here. There's an on and off switch. If you're wondering what that is for, we need a battery to make it work. <laughs> I don't have a battery, but oh, sorry. They, these are not for stand uh, for the bike stand. It's the motorcycle stand. These are the motorcycle stand. There you go. These are footrests. Oops. There you go. Alright, so I don't have batteries. I'm not sure what batteries these or this needs, but why don't we open it? Let's see. Okay, so it needs an AG13 type of battery. Can you see it? I'm not sure if you can see it. There. You need two AG13 batteries to make the lights um, function. So, if I'm not mistaken, there is a light in this part and on the back and on the, what do you call this, dashboard of the bike. Sorry. Not like the hammer. There. So first off, like I mentioned earlier, um, Search K9 is actually articulated, but you have to be very careful because the joints are very tight. Now let's go for the mini gun or pocket gun first. So you have the Midas pocket gun here. It's easy to put on the gripping hands. Then the default pocket hands, sorry, pocket gun. Put it on the gripping hands. Like so, there you go. So, you have the Midas version. How do you put this on? Okay, yep, it, the hands are a bit soft to the touch Ooh, what's that I'm nervous I just heard the click and I don't like this I might have touched it on the wrong part of the the blade so I think it goes like this can you see it 
you can make it hold the switch blade like that let's try it with the default one why do i keep hearing those clicks <laughs> they are so scary <laughs> There, I think you need to put the fingers through this thin part of the the blade. You can make him hold the blades like so. Now let's try to change the hand because there's an alternative hand here, and I think this is connected via ball peg. Let's just hope I don't break. There you go. And if you want to remove the jacket, that's the way to go to um, remove the hand first and then you can remove the jacket. Now, let's connect the alternate hand. Wow, that is tight. I think you need to heat, heat this up a bit because it's really tight. So be careful. Yeah, I think you need to heat this up a bit. Oh no! Or you can just do that. So this is an open palm. You can change it like so. And then let's also change the shoe. Because there is an alternate shoe here. Alternate pair. So it's also on ball peg. That's why you can do the ankle rocker. And then, my right side. No. Okay. And then, let's just put in the shoe. This is also how you remove the pants if you, for whatever reason, want to remove the pants of Tech 63. Remove the shoes first so you can remove the pants. Just like in real life. There. Uh, this one's much easier to replace the shoes, I mean. There you go. And now let's try making him ride the Onimaru. So I put the stand down so you can... Is this my hand print? Oh no, it's like that. Good. Look at that. Chilling like a villain. Now we can do some side by side comparison, especially for the height. So here is the 63 beside a an SH figures. Uh, Gojo. Here is Tech 63 beside a Rebel Tech uh, Raiden. Here is Tech 63 beside a black version of Rebel Tech Bash Stampede. And lastly, here is Tech 63 beside a ROML or Return of Marvel Legends X Force Deadpool. So that's it for birthday toy review number one. There's another video that's gonna come out after this and it's all gonna be uploaded on the same day. So I'd really appreciate it if you watch that as well. Anyway, if you like this video, feel free to like the video. If you have any comments, suggestions, if I missed anything on this review, please put it on the comment section so we can discuss it there. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see more contents coming from me. And as always, y'all stay safe and have a good day.